ಸರ್ವೇದಾಂತಸಿಧ್ಧಾಂತಸಾರಸಂಗ್ರಹ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಕಾಮೋ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾನ್ ಜಗದ್ಭ್ರಮಯಿ ಸ್ಥಿತ್ವಾಂತರಂಗೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಪುಂಸಾವಿತರೇತರಾಂಗಕಗುಣೈ ಹಾಸೈಶ್ಚ ಭಾವೈಸ್ಫುಟ ಅನ್ಯೋನ್ಯಂ ಪರಿಮೋಹ್ಯ ನೈಜತಮಸ ಪ್ರೇಮಾನುಬಂಧೇನ ತೌ ಬದ್ವಾ ಭ್ರಾಮಯತಿ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ರಚನ ಸಂವರ್ಧಯನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ while discussing vairagya the author is explaining the problem associated with kama kama includes all types of desires desire for wealth desire for name and fame desire to go to other lokas desire to go to a foreign country all are included in kama now specifically the author is pointing out the problem associated with the attraction to the opposite gender ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಪುರುಷ ಕಾಮ ದ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವುಮನ್ ಕಾಮೋ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾನ್ ಜಗದ್ಭ್ರಮಯಿತ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮ as mahan jagat bhramayita kama is a great deluding factor it causes delusion in the entire world and by causing delusion the kama takes a person away from the absolute truth takes a person away from the absolute reality therefore 
the author calls Kama as Brahmaha at the last, the last word of this shloka. Brahmaha. It kills the Brahman. Brahma Hanti Iti Brahmaha. The one who destroys Brahman. Brahman cannot be destroyed. Then how can Kama be called Brahmaha? By taking a person away from Brahman. By taking a person away from the Absolute Truth, it as though destroys the Brahman. Therefore, it is called Brahmaha. In other words, it causes spiritual downfall. Takes one away from moksha. What does the karma do? How the karma achieves this? Swayam antarange sthitva the karma sits in our antaranga. It sits in our mind. Mind is the locus of karma. Some people think karma belongs to the atma. But karma does not belong to the atma. It belongs to the mind. That is why Krishna also says, Sarvan partha manogata prajahati adakaman sarvan partha manogata. The kama is present in the manas. Manas is the seat of kama. Therefore, the karma finds its place in our mind. Antarange means in the mind. Sthitva, the karma is stationed in the mind. And from there it attacks. Stri Pum Sau, woman and man. It makes them get attracted to each other. How? Itare Taranga Kagunaihi through. the qualities of the body of each other, each other's beauty. Beauty is an attracting factor. And then, ha saihi, smiles, and bhavaihi, through various body languages, gestures, all these cause the attraction. Sputam anyonyam parimohya. That is how the karma causes the mutual attraction. Naijatamasa. And the attraction happens on account of their own tamas, their own ignorance, on account of aviveka. They don't see the reality. 
that is how people get attracted and then prema anubandhena tau badhva the karma binds them through love through prema and that is how it makes them go around bhramayati all the bollywood movies they are all bhramayati there is a whole story marriage fighting divorce everything happens it makes them go round and round prapancha rachanam samvardhayan that is how the kama the desire furthers the creation of the universe by making people work by making people do various things the karma keeps the world going ಭೋಗ್ಯ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ಸ್ವತ ಜಂತೋರ್ಧ್ರುವ ಮನ್ಯಥೇತ್ ಅಬೋಧಿತು ಕಥಂ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ನೌ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ that on account of karma people engage in the objects of enjoyment people pursue the objects of enjoyment naturally pursuit of the object of enjoyment is natural to the human beings it need not be taught and it need not be told also you should watch tv nobody has to tell if there is a tv people start watching it is swata eva siddha it happens by itself naturally the shastra need not say you have to pursue the objects of enjoyment shastra doesn't have to say therefore ataha therefore meaning antaranga sthita kama vegat on account of the force of the kama the desire which is there in the antaranga in the mind bhog sarvasya janto 
for every jantu every being in the world bhogye pravritti hi swata eva siddha bhogye pravritti hi pursuit of the objects pursuit of the objects of enjoyment swata eva siddha it happens by itself it happens naturally anyatha chit otherwise meaning if pravritti does not happen naturally अबोधितार्थेशु कथम प्रवृत्ति ही हाउ कैन वन परस्यू दी ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट नो बडी टेल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दयानंद स्वामी जी वो टेल अ स्टोरी विच हैपन्ड इन हिस ओन लाइफ when he was a brahmachari he was staying in a place in bangalore a small room and then he had a friend who was addicted to alcohol a drunker he was somewhere else then swami ji thought i will keep him with me make him stay with me so that he may give up alcohol so he brought this uh, gentleman this friend and made him stay near him with him in the same room then he thought uh, now he is in a new place so he may not find alcohol here swami ji thought so but then after a day or two this gentleman returns with fully drunk and then he tells swami ji where he found the alcohol it is very close by in the same street they are they are selling alcohol then swami ji wonder i have been staying here for a long time but i was not aware that they are selling alcohol there but this person could find out so quickly where alcohol is available therefore when somebody has a desire the pravritti happens some, somehow abodhita artheshu even if it is not taught the nature makes him find it that is why the author says it happens on its own it is natural that is the natural course of an individual's behavior the spiritual pursuit 
the pursuit of moksha involves growing out of the natural behavior that is why shankara acharya compares it nadyaha pratisrotah pravartanavat the pursuit of moksha is like swimming in the opposite side of the current that is why it is difficult flowing with the nature is easy pursuing the desires is not difficult because it is natural but restraining the mind and the senses cultivating vairagya growing out of the desire it is a very difficult task shloka 60 जीर्य there is a misconception that desire goes away with age older people don't have desire or desire goes away with age this is a misconception because desire does not go away with the age that is why shankara acharya says in bhaja govindam vriddho yati grihitva dandam tadapi na munchat yasha pindam an old man walks with the walking stick still the aasha pinda aasha does not give leave him desire does not go away with the age that is being told here tenaiva on account of the same reason meaning kama is naturally there in everybody's mind therefore sarva jantu nam kamana balavattara for everyone kamana desire is very strong दे अस्मिन देहे जीर्यति अपि इवन दो दिस बॉडी गेट्स ओल्ड एंड द बॉडी डिटीरियोरेट्स इवन देन कामना नैव जीर्यते द डिजायर डस नॉट डिटीरियोरेट desire does not reduce it remains intact what happens with the aging 
the senses become weaker the body becomes weaker and that is why certain desires may not find a way to express but it does not mean desire has gone away the desires are there at the mental level and since certain desires cannot be fulfilled in this body the jiva will have to take another body in order to fulfill the desires that is why mundaka upanishad says kaman yah kamayate manyamanah sakam abhirjayate tatra tatra if anybody cherishes the desires in order to fulfill the desires he is reborn with the same desires this is a problem then what is the solution desire is a problem as long as there is there is desire there is no moksha then what is the solution what is the treatment for desires it is being told 61 avekshya vish avekshya vishaye dosham buddhi yukto vichak क्षण काम पाशे नो मुक्ता स मुक्ते पथि गोचर दोषदर्शन बीइंग अवेर ऑफ द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स इट इज द वे टू गेट रिड ऑफ द डिजायर्स बुद्धियुक्तो विचक्षण ए विचक्षण ए वाइस मैन बुद्धियुक्त ही हैज विवेक ही इज एबल टू सी द ट्रुथ ऑफ ए गिवन ऑब्जेक्ट objectively such person vishaye dosham avekshya he sees the dosha he becomes aware of the shortcomings of a given sense object the limitations of a given object which otherwise looks promising he is aware of his temporary nature he is aware of the consequences of enjoying the given object thus being aware of the dosha and reminding himself of the dosha of the objects kama pashe namukta ha 
one can become free from kama pasha the shackle of desire the bondage of desire sah mukte he pathi gocharaha such person progresses in the path of moksha only by making oneself free from desires one can progress in the path of moksha as long as one is bound by desires any amount of shravana any amount of sadhana does not bring about any progress in the pursuit of moksha there is the example of an intoxicated person he was a drunkard he drank a lot and then he had to go home and to go home he had to cross a river he had a boat also his own boat heavily drunk he sat in his boat in the evening to go home by crossing the river and then he started rowing the boat it was evening he was rowing the boat for a long time still he did not reach the other shore he was uh, continuing the rowing he rowed and rowed and uh, by that time the sun rose it was uh, next day morning only by that time his intoxication was gone and then he realized that the boat is tied to the shore he was rowing but the boat was tied to the shore that is why the boat did not make even an inch of progress it was still there in the same shore in the same manner as long as there are strong desires binding a person to the samsara any amount of vedanta shravana or dhyana meditation any such sadhana is not going to help much that is why people say i have been listening to vedanta for 30 years 40 years but no progress why because there are so many desires so many attachments
ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಕಾಮಸ್ಯಜಯೋಪಾಯ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ವಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಸ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗಸುಲಭೋ ಮತ ನೌ ದಿ ಆಥರ್ is once again giving a way to conquer kama kama jaya upaya aham satam kamasya sukshmam vijayopayam vakshyami aham the author is saying satam for the satpurusha for the seekers who are treading the path of virtuousness kamasya sukshmam vijayopaya ಕಾಮಸ್ಯ ವಿಜಯೋಪಾಯ ದ ವೇ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಕರ್ ಕಾಮ ದ ವೇ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಕರ್ ಡಿಸೈಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಕಾಮ ಫೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವಕ್ಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಎಂ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಉಪಾಯ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಸ್ಯ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ the author will explain what sankalpa is sankalpa means vishaye samyakta buddhi the idea that an object is good an object can give me happiness this idea this thinking is called sankalpa according to the shastra sankalpa leads to kama sankalpa prabhavan kama tyaktva sarvan sheshatah even in bhagavad gita krishna describes sankalpa as the cause of kama when you think an object is good an object can give me happiness then the desire arises that is why all these advertisements their job is to create a sankalpa in your mind you see an ad the ad shows that the product is good it can give you happiness and then a sankalpa arises oh this product is good this product can give me happiness then one or two days 
you just think of the positive qualities of the product and then the third day you start saying i want for two days you may keep saying it is good it is good at that stage it is sankalpa it is good stage is sankalpa it is good develops into i want it when i say i want it it is kama desire that is how sankalpa develops into kama that is why if one has to nip kama in the bud then one should get rid of sankalpa the objects are good objects can give me happiness this idea should be removed from the mind that is the way to get rid of kama sankalpasya parityagah giving up of the sankalpa sulabhah upayah matah it is the easy upaya easy way to conquer kama now he is explaining sankalpasya parityagah 63 shrute drishte pi va bhogye yasmin kasmin scha vastuni समीचीनगामो नो देचि नो दि ऑथर इज एक्सप्लेनिंग संकल्प त्याग द संकल्प कैन एराइस in any object that is either heard or seen shrute drishte piva yasmin kas yasmin kasmin chit bhogye vastuni yasmin kasmin chit bhogye vastuni एनी भोग्य वस्तु एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट इधर श्रोता और दृष्टा इधर इट इज जस्ट हर्ड समबडी टोल्ड अस और वी हैव सीन इट इधर श्रोता और दृष्टा then samichinatvadhi tyagat if there is a samichinatvadhi the idea that it is samichina it is good it will give me happiness if there is such a thought then kama can arise but if such thought is given up samichinatva dhi tyagat sankalpa is nothing but samichinatva dhi the idea that it is good it will give me happiness and so on 
yagat if that is given up then kamaha karihi chit na udeti kama cannot arise at any time Ninety four Kamasya Sankalpaha Sankalpa Deva Jayate Bije Nashtenkura Iva Tasmin Nashte Vinasyati Kamasya Bijam Sankalpaha Sankalpa is the root of Kama, the cause of Kama. Therefore, Sankalpa Deva Jayate. Kama arises from Sankalpa only. When there is Sankalpa, Kama is bound to arise. That is why, if you observe, initially a person will say, it is so nice, so nice. Then third day or fourth day, he will start saying, I want it. Sankalpa leads to calm. Bije nashte ankuraha iva. If the seed is destroyed, the ankura, the sprout cannot arise. As long as there is a seed, the sprout can arise. But if the seed is destroyed, suppose you have burned the seed, you have roasted the seed, then it cannot germinate. Bije nashte ankuraha na jayate. In the same manner, tasmin nashte means sankalpe nashte. If the sankalpa is destroyed, kamaha api vinashyati, even the kama disappears. Sixty-five. Na kopi samyaktvadhiya vinaiva. Bhogyam narah kamayitum samarthaha. Yatastatah kamajaye churetam. Samyaktva buddhim vishaye nihanyat. As long as there is no sankalpa, karma does not arise. Without sankalpa, it is not possible to get karma. Kopi, anybody, samyaktvadhiya vina eva. Without a samyakta buddhi, the author describes a sankalpa as samichinatvadhihi or samyakta buddhi or samyaktvadhihi, meaning same samyaktvadhihi or samyakta buddhi is sankalpa. Without that, without samyaktvadhihi, 
Kopi Naraha, any human being. Bhogyam Kamayitum Na Samarthaha, he cannot have desire for Bhogya. He cannot have desire for any object of enjoyment. Yataha, since it is so, therefore, Kama Jaye Chuhu, one who wants to conquer Kama, Etam Vishaye Samyakta Buddhim Nihanya, he should destroy the Samyakta Buddhi, the Sankalpa, with respect to any object. Sixty-six. Bhogye narah kama jaye churetam. Sukhat. Tvabuddhim vishaye nihanyat Yavat sukhatva brahmadhif padarthe Tavanna jetum prabhavedhikamam Kama jaye chuhu naraha. Any human being who desires to conquer the kama, who aspires to conquer the desires, what should he do? He should give up sankalpa. In this shloka, the author calls Sankalpa as Sukhatva Buddhim. Previously, he described Sankalpa as Samyakta Buddhi or Samichinatva Buddhi, thinking that an object is good, an object is beneficial. Now, he describes the same as Sukhattva Buddhi. Sukhattva Buddhi means the thought that a given object can give me happiness. A given object is a promising source of happiness. Such idea is called Sukhattva Buddhi. In order to conquer Kama, first of all, one should give up the Sukhattva Buddhi. Vishaye Sukhattva Buddhim Nihanyat. One should destroy the Sukhattva Buddhi. with respect to any object. Yavat padarthi sukhatva brahmadhihi as long as one thinks a given object will give me happiness. It is a Brahmaha, the idea that any object can give me true happiness is a delusion, a misconception, because the object itself is not permanent. When the object itself is not permanent, 
it cannot give anything permanent that is why the thought that any object can give me permanent happiness is a delusion that is why the author calls it sukhatva bhramadhihi the sukhatva buddhi it is a bhrama as long as such delusion lasts one cannot get rid of the desires tavanna jetum prabhavedhi kamam tavat kamam jetum na prabhavet until then one cannot conquer the kama until one thinks an object can give me true happiness an object can give me permanent happiness one cannot get rid of the desire therefore the way to get rid of the kama is to give up the sankalpa which is the idea that an object can give me permanent happiness an object can give me true happiness therefore the object is good this thought should be given up then one can easily get rid of the desire the attraction towards the sense object om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hi